What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more two cellos. And indeed, I did a couple video reactions to two cellos recently. Both of them blocked here on YouTube, but they are both now publicly available on my Patreon. Uh, so check those out if you're interested. And again, shout out to a number of folks, including Yvonne, who uh, commented that she is so very fond of those videos as I am, and just two cellos in general, which again, I'm very much on board as well. So yeah, we're gonna go back. In fact, I say go back. I'm not sure I've reacted to this yet. I think maybe I did. But this is their uh, Let There Be Cello um, release or compilation. Uh, and one of the tunes on here I just reacted to also on Patreon, though this video did get up to YouTube. And that is the Postmodern Jukebox featuring Haley Reinhardt cover of Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes. I think that is an amazing version I said in that um, reaction that all due respect to the original I felt like that rendering exceeded in terms of its um, impact on me anyway uh, the original which again is a very good song so uh, shout out to PMJ and Haley Reinhardt but I figured let's listen to two more amazing musicians take a crack at this tune so this is two cellos from Let There Be Cello and again does it say the year here it's like 2018 I believe uh, and yeah, let's listen to their version of Seven Nation Army, originally by the White Stripes. Wait, is that... which track is that? Nine. I was going to play Seven, which would have been Vivaldi Storm, which, you know what? <laughs> I am such a big fan of Vivaldi, I'm going to come back right after this video and do that. But, but first, let's listen to Seven Nation Army by Two Cellos. <laughs> insane amount of smoke behind me. Um, yeah, I mentioned, uh, and so did Yvonne, that these guys are just the ultimate rock stars, and to take a tune like that, to play what I believe in those chorus sections were electric cello, to give it that real smoky edge, uh, just brilliant. And again, that's another thing, I suppose, perhaps, maybe not less appreciated, I think people get it, because you have to take tunes as they do from 
you know, soundtracks and from rock bands and even, you know, hip hop groups and so on and reconfigure them primarily around cello, obviously drums and so on, but um, yeah, you have to figure out how to arrange and how to um, adapt a piece that was written for other instruments. Um, and they are obviously incredibly good at that. But yeah, this is just them sort of embracing their rock star uh, side and the heavier end. Now, again, I've listened to tunes of theirs um, that are on the more um, ethereal and emotional end. Again, their cover of Nine Inch Nails Hurt. Like, that was, I think, the first reaction uh, that made me, like, weep on camera. And I remember being a bit like, man, should I post it? Is that, like, is it weird? Um, but yeah, as I've come to realize, like, you know, the way music hits people is very much what people are, you know, here to talk about and to experience. So um, I came quickly to realize, like, no, like, that's, you know, that is part of it. So. Uh, but yeah, ultimately, um, this is on the other end of their spectrum, and the um, more rock star uh, persona definitely comes through. I would, of course, like to see a number of the tunes that they've done on these releases in audio form, um, in videos, and live performances, and so on. But obviously, you know, the video reactions I'm doing, they're at a slower pace than the audio reactions, so I'll keep doing both, is essentially what I mean. And as I said, I'm going to come right back for Vivaldi Storm. Um, Vivaldi is a string master. I mean, even Bach, who's considered in some ways like, you know, the godfather of like modern classical music and um, certainly one of the, you know, the titans um, in a sequence that essentially, you know, he's the master of the Baroque era. Mozart's the master of the classical era. Beethoven's the master of the Romantic era. Um, but yeah, even Bach was like, Vivaldi, this guy, like, you know, he knows what he's doing. So, uh, looking forward to that. Let me know what you think of this, and I will see you next time. Peace.